All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rechakwadash. The Bar and the Apostle knows the great millstone are teaching us the most saying truth according to Bar Well. And peace and blessings so flow to the nation of Israel. Take their spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, we're going to the Lord's willing and defining lesson. You know, today's lesson is inspired by. You know, uh, the GMS Dallas, you know, they have a, they had a live class, you know, getting on, you know, the wickedness in Israel that we're seeing today, you know, and just some scriptures going to my head, you know, and um, just kind of want to bring them out, you know, and what we're witnessing is that a lot of people have a problem with Yahweh Shai and his doctrine and the things that he teach and, you know, his uh, believers that he will be raising up. Right, as majority of these camps, they do not even really honor and worship the names of Yah by Shema Shai, proven that you have a problem with the Lord. Right, this is a uh, Saint Luke two and thirty four, and Simon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child, speaking of Yahweh Shai, is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel. You know and. We oftentimes bring this uh, scripture out, you know, for to prove that the Gentiles in the New Testament were speaking about the Israelite foreigners who fell away, that Yahweh Shai will reconcile them back to the Heavenly Father, bring them back into the good gracious of the Heavenly Father, right? But Yahweh Shai will be... Uh, for the fall, right? He, he, he'll be for the fall and rising again of many in Israel. And for a spot and for a sign which shall be spoken against, right? Let's read this in LT. Then Simon blessed them and said, and he said to Mary, the baby's mother, this child is disdained, it is destined to cause many in Israel to fall, right? This child is destined. Yahweh Shai, you know, came not into the world. Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, <coughs> when you read here in St. John 3, right? And um, in 17, for the Most High sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved, right? So, uh, the Lord, you know, didn't sing Yahweh Shai, you know, to condemn the world, but, you know, through the controversy that would come, you know, the, the unbelief that would come, right? Yahweh Shai was sent forth to be our Savior, right? But the Heavenly Father is putting us into remembrance that after, you know, uh, you know, because of unbelief, you know, uh, you know, these you know, uh, because of unbelief, they they would not enter in into the promise, right? This is uh, St. Luke 2 and 34. It says, Then Simon blessed them and said to Mary, the baby's mother, This child is destined to cause many in Israel to fall, but he will be a joy to many others, other Israelites, he has been sent as a sign from the Most High, but many people will oppose him, right? And that's what we see happening, right? We see many people opposing Yahweh Shai and the authority that he has. As we, when we read here in St. John, I believe it's 1, and I want to say uh, 16, you know, it says uh, St. John 1 and... We'll start at sixteen and of and of the his fulfill 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 fullness. That always throws me off. And uh, have have we received grace for grace for the for 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 the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Yahweh Shai. A Mashiach, right? So Moses gave the law, right? But Yahweh Shai came to give us grace. He's given us his grace. He's given us the mercy. 
And he's given us the truth whereby we may be sanctified, you know, and, 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 and renewed in the spirit of our minds. Right. And that's what a lot of people are. That's where a lot of our people are missing the mark. Right. St. Matthew's three and 17. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Right. Yahweh Shai is the beloved son in whom the heavenly father is well pleased. This is St. Matthew 17. And five, while he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Right? And a lot of our people have a problem with hearing the words of Yahweh Shai, hearing the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, as Yahweh Shai told us that he will come in the volume of the book. You have guys who will have problems with the old customs on how we would handle, you know, the situation of grape as it is evident, you know, in today's society, right? They have the they have a problem with the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shah. They have a problem with with the teachings of the Heavenly Father. Right? This is Saint Luke two and thirty five. As a result, the deepest thoughts of many's hearts will be revealed and a sword will pierce your very soul right so the this word you know will shine forth as a light exposing many exposing men's intents and expose exposing their thoughts you know uh, uh, exposing you know who is uh who is really with the lord you know as the lord yahweh Shai told us here in St. Matthew's 12 and 30, he that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad, right? So Yahweh Shai was set up as a stumbling block, and a lot of people would speak against him, right? A lot of people would not believe, right? But Yahweh Shai is telling you, if you don't want to be with me, then you're ultimately against me. If you're not gathering, you know, according to the ways that I told you to gather, then you're scattering the flock. You're not the true shepherds. You're not the true men of the Lord, right? You have stumbled and fell at the stumbling stone. You have stumbled and fell at the, at the authority that Yahweh Shai has, and it trumps the authority of the law, the law, the law. And that's what these men are you know, are all about, you know, they forgot what the testimony of Yahweh Shai is, which is the spirit of prophecy, right? The prophecies is what's important, right? The prophecy is what we're supposed to be pushing to the forefront, not the laws. No man is justified by the works of the law. And we, as the believers of Yahweh Shai, we are looking to be justified by our faith in the Lord, and what is written, what having faith, you know, and walking into the unknown, right? Having faith in Yahweh Shai and the authority that he's been giving and following his orders on what we need to do to receive salvation, right? To preach the word, to be instant in season, out of season, right? To, to bear our cross, right? And us bearing our cross and constantly in, increasing in our faith, you know, motivates us, you know, to believe that Yahweh by Shemal Shai, you know, is with us as he, you know, gets us through our trials and tribulations, as he, as he pushes us through, you know, the things that we go through, right? And that keeps us going out on the highways and hedges, preaching this word. This is um, Isaiah 8 and 13, sanctify the Lord of hosts himself and let him be your fear and let him be your dread, right? So fear Yah by Shema Shai and sanctify your minds, you know? Right? It says, and he shall be for a sanctuary, right? And for a stumble and, and for a stone of stumbling. 
and for a rock of offense to both the house of Israel for a gin, which is a state, which is a which is a trap, right? And for a snare, same thing to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, right? So for some people, Yahweh Shai will be a sanctuary. He'll be a safe haven, you know, uh, uh, uh and like the. You know, beloved elder Apostle Ramlop, you know, went into, I believe it was a response. You know, you cannot make yourself of the elect. You know, this is all predestinated, right? And everything's being made manifest in this last day. Who the Heavenly Father has chosen, you know, who the Heavenly Father has not chosen. Scriptures talk about how then shall be known who are my chosen. Why? Because the chosen will have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. The chosen will speak a word, you know, and those words will come to pass. Right? Things as pertaining to the M-O-T to the B, right? The third woe. All these things would, would the prophets speak, right? And they would, they would trust in the prophecies of Yahweh by Shema Shai, as the Holy One of Israel, right? Uh, the remnant shall return, right? To the Holy One of Israel and in truth, and to the others, right? The way the truth comes out, the way the delivery is, the way that Yahweh by Shema Shai has his men, you know, uh, you know, rough and rugged, you know, the way. You know, uh, knowing that, you know, all nations can't be saved. The God of the Bible does not love everyone, right? These things will be a stumbling block to the rest of our nations, even they of the circumcision. It says, and many among them, right, shall stumble and fall and be broken and be snared and taken, right? So many among the house of Israel, right? Even they of the circumcision, those that know their Israel, will be will, will stumble. They will fall at the teachings of Yahweh Shai, and they will miss the mark, and and, and and that will lead to their destruction, right? And 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 ultimately their other demise. Right, it says, bind up the testimony, right? Seal the law among my disciples, right? When you read this in the NLT, it says, preserve the teaching of the Most High and trust his instructions to those who follow me, right? So those, the two, the true teachers of Yahweh by Shema Shai have been given the testimony, right? Which is the spirit of the prophecy, Right, they've been given the truth to preach, you know, on to our people, and of course, you know, we teach our people to keep the laws, right? We teach our people, you know, to obey Yah by Shema Shai, the fear of the Lord to become, you know, those new creatures to become unrecognizable when it comes to your old self. But Yahweh Shai would be that stumbling stone, he would be that rock of offense. Many would not believe on Yahweh Shai, you know. Yahweh Shai said, many shall uh, strive to enter into the straight gate and shall not find it, right? So when we jump, you know, to St. John 17 to 14, it says, I have given them thy word and the world hath hated them because they are not of the world, right? We are not of, we are not of the form or fashion of, you know, the world of Israel, the wicked of our people, you know, of expressing the relationship between a part or in a whole, expression the relationship between a measure and a value, right? So the relationship you know, that we have is us with Yahweh by Shema Shai. We are one with the Lord, not one with this world, right? Even as Yahweh Shai was not one with this world, right? And it comes with the world hating us. When we read in St. John 15 and 16, it says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye shall go and bring forth fruit. 
right? And you shall know them by their fruit, right? You shall know them by, uh, you know, you should know an individual by his actions, by the things that he does, you know, by, you know, the things that were planted in his mind and how that show forth into his actions. You can see that Yahweh Shai was not planted in their minds. The, the, the gift of faith was not planted in these guys' minds. As you see, you know, a royal rumble, you know, and it's funny, it's very comical, but it's very childish, right? And it shows that Yahweh by Shemal Shai is exposing you guys. You know, I always, get, <laughs> I always get a good laugh every time I watch that video. <laughs> this is St. John 15 and 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Yahweh by Shemal Shai have chosen us, right? From, from the womb, from the foundation of the earth. In the beginning, we were, you know, Lord's willing, we were chosen. It says, and that it ordained you, right? That you should go and bring forth fruit, you know, and that your fruit should remain. And that, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you, right? So we should bring forth fruit, right? Fruits of the Spirit, right? Ultimately, right? People will come, you know, and, and see the light of the Heavenly Father that shine upon us, right? They will follow that, right? And you know, the Heavenly Father would receive glory in heaven, right? These things I have spoken, I'm sorry, these things I, com these things I com command you that you should love one another, right? You love one another, right? And if you love one another, uh, what, you're going to keep the laws, right? You, you're going to edify one another. You're going to build one another up, right? It says... If you love, if, 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 if the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you, right? And this world hates Yahweh Shai, and, you know, and that's evidently clear by how they hate us and what we teach, right? How they have a problem. They want to uh, bring out smear campaigns against the apostles, the elders, the, the leaders, the bishops of Great Millstone, you know? And it's ultimately because you hate Yahweh Shai. It's, it's not because we hate Jesus Christ and you follow Jesus Christ. No, it's because you hate Yahweh Shai. You know, uh, guys have a problem with rebuke. It says, if, you, if, if, if ye were of the world, the world will love his own. Right? And you cannot tell me these guys, you know, are not loved by, you know, our people. You know, they love, you know, they, they speak so highly of the bishop. Keep the bishop's name out of your mouth, right? Come to, come to, uh, come to uh, the, the ISUBK Passover. You know, you can get, you know, women, you can get weed, right? These are things that, you know, men are on video saying, right? So these, these congregations are clearly loved by our people because their fashions right to attract you know the average israelite the average negro in america right it says if ye were of the world the world would love his own but because ye are not of this world as yahweh shai said i am from above ye are from beneath ye are of this world i am not of this world we are not of this world we are not of the fashion the form you cannot compare us to this world. We do not think how you people think. We have a heavenly mindset, right? It says, because ye, because ye are not of this world, but I have chosen you out of the world, right? Therefore, the world hateth you, right? So a lot of our people have stumbled and fell at the teachings of Yahweh Shai, which is being brought out by the men, the Lord, the men of Great Millstone, right? They have stumbled and fallen at Yahweh Shai and his doctrine. They are offended at the teachings of the Lord. 
It says, remember the word that I have said, the servant is not greater than his Lord, right? So we are, are, are very uh, aware that you do not hate us, right? It is not us that you are hating. It's not our teachings that you are confused about and have a problem with. No, you are scattering abroad. You have a you have a problem with Yahweh Shai. And, and, and it's all according to biblical prophecy, which a majority of our people, they, they, they don't push. Right. They're not warning the flock. They're not pushing how close we are to the end of this society. Right. They're pushing comfort. They're not pushing the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Washai in truth and sincerity. It says, remember the word that I said unto you. Right. So we are to remember these things. The servant is not greater than his Lord. Right. But just as Yahweh Shai was hated, best believe as Yahweh Shai received glory in the heavens and He's going to receive glory on the earth. The men of the Lord is going to receive glory. The men of Yahweh Shema Shai are going to receive that glory, that fame, right? But we have to be patient just as Yahweh Shai was patient, right? We must be humble. We must accept the humiliation that comes with following Yahweh Shai, right? If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you, right? And we see Yahweh Shai was persecuted, right? If they have kept my sayings, they will keep yours also. This so this this child is set for the rise, right? And you know, and, and this this child Yahweh Shai. When we read here in Luke, we'll close out Luke two and thirty four. You know, this is um. It says, we'll read it in the KJV. It says, and Simon blessed them and said unto Mary, his mother, behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Right. So this this is, you know, the controversy, you know. I want to uh, get, you know, I did quote, you know, uh, uh, stumble, right? Um, uh, mm -mm, let me see what this says. This is, um, this is a uh, second Peter's two. Um, uh, you know, Yahweh Shai was the stone that the builders refused, right? This is, um, this is, uh, first Peter's, uh, two and six in the NLT. It says, as the scriptures say, I am placing a cornerstone in Jerusalem chosen for great honor and anyone who trusts in him will never be disgraced, right? I believe that's uh, Isaiah 28, brought that out in my lesson yesterday. It says, yes, you who, you who trust and recognize the honor God has given him, as we read, this is my beloved son, hear ye him, right? Uh, one greater than Moses has come, right? But for those who reject him, the stone that the builders rejected has now become the the cornerstone, right? The cornerstone. You know, you have a you have a a, a four corner, right? Let's say a, a building with four corners, a room, right? That cornerstone is that is that is that uh the between the the two walls, right? That nine at the nine degree angle. Right, that 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 piece right there. That's the precious cornerstone. Right, it's the cornerstone. Without that, the house will fall. And he is the stone that makes people stumble, the rock that makes them fall. As we read in Isaiah, they stumble because they do not obey the heavenly Father's word. 
which is Yahweh Shai, right? <laughs> Ultimately, the word was made flesh. And so they meet the fate that was planned for them, which is doom, right? Which is doom. ICBM nuclear destruction. You know, and brothers who have watched, you know, the, the you know, the, you know, the apostle uh, Rakar, right? The other apostle Rakar. And, you know, the, uh, the other elders and beloved brothers in Dallas, you know, bring out that rebuke video. It's very, you know, hey, we, you know, the Lord, Yahweh Shema Washai, you know, in the appointed time is going to, you know, shed a light upon everything and glory and honor are going to come to those who were sincere and, and ultimately chosen, you know, and to those who were set up to stumble and fall then, you know, judgment's going to come upon them accordingly. With that, you know, Lord's only you're edified, you know, it's just on my spirit to kind of bring that out, you know, kind of a different lesson than what I normally do. You know, I pray you're edified. So next time I say, Shalom.